Okay, this is the answer. So um, as you can see that G go with C, A go with T, C go with G, T go with A, and so on and so forth. That's how you get the sequence uh, using the base pairing rule, ATGC, remember, at general classroom. And then they have to be anti-parallel so that five, if this is the 5 prime n here, it will be the 3 prime n here. 3 prime n here, it will be the 5 prime n here. Is that clear? Now I'll give you one extra question. Let's say I give you this DNA sequence. We call it template. Okay. And I want you to do transcription. Forget about this one. This is DNA, okay? Forget about this. Now I want you to transcribe. I want you to transcribe the template strand into the the DNA template strand, okay? DNA template strand into a R and a complementary strand into a messenger RNA complementary strand. I want you to do this, okay? I want you to pause the video now, okay? Pause the video now and then write out the sequence of the uh, RNA that is complementary to this uh, DNA template. Can you pause now? Pause now, pause it now, okay? So this is the answer. Again, it is anti-parallel, 3 prime n. Oh, let me use different color. Let me use green. So mRNA, I will use green color. So it will be 3 prime n here. G will go with C. A, it will not pair with T. Guess what? It will pair with U. Uracil, remember? C will go with G. If you are T, it will go with A. Because Uracil is the only one that replaces T. C go with G. A will not go with T, it will go with U, Uracil. A will go with Uracil again. T will not go with U, T will still go with A. G still go with C. A, T will still go with A. And then again, this is a 5 prime n. Uh, I'm running off space. I'll, I'll put it here. 5 prime n. So this is what I call transcription. So you just transcribe the DNA from DNA template into a messenger RNA complementary strand. So this is what we call transcription. But of course, Remember what I told you, um, transcription. When we make messenger RNA, the template messenger RNA goes from five prime to three prime. The direction of manufacturing, the direction of making messenger RNA is from five prime to three prime. That's why when we are doing this, um, the sequence, I should transcribe it from uh, five prime n to three prime n. Is that clear? So the RNA polymerase will make the messenger RNA from 5 prime n to 3 prime n. Okay, what about the structure of messenger RNA? Structure of messenger RNA are one strand. 
What about DNA? DNA is a double stranded, you know, double helix. And then we said that every three bases, we call it one codon for one amino acid. Okay, what does it mean? <laughs> this is, it has something to do with translation. Remember we talked about, um, DNA going through translation into oh uh, sorry DNA going through the transcription into messenger RNA so it is transcription we just went over the exercise right and then our messenger RNA will be we'll go through something called translation into polypeptide the translation in the polypeptide it is something that we the point number two point number two meaning that uh, every three bases in the messenger RNA every three bases in the messenger RNA form something called a codon. So every free basis in messenger RNA forms something called a codon. And then this codon um, translate into one amino acid. This codon, or you can call it represent one amino acid. So this is what it means. Point number two basically talks about the translation process, which is uh, here. Well, let me color code it for you. Point number two basically means this process. Translation from messenger RNA into polypeptide. Okay. Now, nucleotide is complementary to the DNA template sequence. Okay, number three, point number three. It talks about here, the transcription. Nucleotide sequence is complementary to a DNA template sequence. They are talking about this one. Yeah, it, the, the order is kind of messed up. They should talk about uh, number the the number point number three as should be number two or uh, whatever. Okay, but I color coded it. It should be clear for you what they're talking about. Point number three talks about transcription. Okay, converting DNA into messenger RNA. Point number two talks about translation, converting messenger RNA into polypeptide. Uh, polypeptide, not polypeption. Uh, um, sorry, I spelled it wrong. Polypeptide. Okay, polypeptide, not polypeption. Uh, okay, polypeptide. Okay. So I color coded it. Green goes to number two. It means uh, uh, translation. Purple arrow goes to number three. Uh, it means transcription. So this is what I just keep talking. Genetic code, I call it central dogma. The central dogma. I don't like the word genetic code, you know, it's so... Genetic code, um, well, I don't like genetic code. Let's call it central dogma. Okay, forget about this. Just call it cent the central dogma. DNA sequence become, I would say, messenger RNA sequence. Okay, Need to be more specific, messenger RNA. This is called transcription. I'll spell it out. Transcription. Oh yeah, my handwriting is really bad using the mouse. But you know how to spell transcription, I believe. T R A N. Oh, yeah. Ah, let's do it again. I'm a perfectionist. T 
R A N trans grip C R I P transcription T R I C R I P T R one okay transcription from messenger RNA to amino acid sequence of polypeptide required translation. Translation. Okay. There's actually another name, central dogma. Some people just call it protein synthesis. Sometimes people call protein synthesis just refer to translation, but well, I just want to keep it simple and straightforward to you. The entire process from DNA to RNA, from RNA, from messenger RNA to amino acid, that means this one, we call it central dogma. Okay? We call it central dogma. And central dogma is made up of transcription and translation. So you have the central dogma here, messenger RNA, and then you have, uh, this is something new, DNA replication. DNA, they can so-called reproduce themselves, so-called reproduce themselves. DNA replication is like... Um, photocopy or Xerox copy is ex they make identical copy of itself um, why it is for cell division mitosis yes DNA will undergo DNA replication in order to prepare for mitosis or cell division let me give you a complete story of this part here um, you have DNA. I told you that oh, DNA is like watching the cooking show on the uh, YouTube video. So you watch a uh, YouTube video to learn. This DNA is the YouTube video that teach you how to make steaks. And then while I'm watching the YouTube video, I take notes. The notes that I take is called messenger RNA. Okay, the notes that I take so that's why we call it transcription and then I take I take this note the messenger RNA to actually I give this note to my friends <laughs> to all my friends to all my friends and then all my friends will go to supermarket to buy all the ingredients and then after they buy all the ingredients then they'll give me all the ingredients um, the steaks, the, the, the marinade sauce, or the, the, the garlic, the uh, uh, olive oil, uh, salt, and pepper, you know. They'll buy all these ingredients, and then give it to me, and then I'll make protein. We call this translation. So this is the entire story. <laughs>